We're here with MK. Uh, <laughs> here are some of the, uh, the things that are being announced here at I.O. today. <laughs> Who are you and why? Hi, I'm Mariko. <laughs> <laughs> you look terrified already. <laughs> I'm I'm here because you DM'd me that I need to be here. That's actually that's correct. That's fair. That's, that's correct. the first correct answer I would yeah. have to say. So how is it you got started in, in the web then, right, rather than native? I just kind of figured that out. So I well, so I grew up in kind of like very technologically inclined family. Like I was I always had access to a computer and internet from I don't know grade four or five or something. It was never like, oh, this is amazing. I'm gonna like code like assembly in like Commodore 64 and then I'm gonna be a programmer situation. Yeah. I just had there around. And one computer that I had uh, came with a like a web authoring tool that was made by IBM, came with so my Windows machine. What? It wasn't Dreamweaver. It wasn't Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver was college for me. What was the IBM one then? So this is the one called IBM Home Page Builder. Home Page Builder, excellent. I believe it is developed in IBM Japan. Maybe oh. Japan local, but that was my first authoring tool. And it was amazing. It had a GUI, like very simple GUI, because it was the back then when, you know, you were designing pages with uh, flames and tables. Yeah. So making WYSIWYG was oh, a I little miss frame set. simpler. Right, frame, frame set, set, yeah, menu on the side, exactly. and then... Exactly. You could resize it as a user, yeah. it was amazing. Yeah, and yeah. then it, I think it has a tab to open the, the HTML code. But back then, like, it wasn't, you know, complicated, right? So, as a elementary schooler, I was just, I kind of figured that out by just playing with this web authoring tool. And then, somehow, I already had access to internet, so I must have searched on the internet or whatever. I do remember Which I did not have Google. Did I did not use search engine. It was a directory. Oh I mean, yeah, like a Yahoo yeah. directory. Yeah, or yeah, like yeah. That. Uh, yep. I was I was guided to use Yahoo Kids because I was Yahoo Kids, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, somehow I found out what the FTP was and signed up for free hosting with the ad banner that comes with it. Remember the yeah. days? Yeah. Like you yeah. Get yeah. <laughs> and then I uploaded and started making websites. I, I think one of the things that really brought me to the web is that how quickly you can get something on screen. Yes. Like when I tried to do, um, I was going to say real programming. Let's not say real programming. But what actually definitely felt to me at the time, real programming versus whatever this yeah. new thing was. And like, you know, you felt like you were writing loads of code and this other thing, and all you were doing is outputting some text. Whereas on the web, you're you know, doing H1, and it's like, now I've got big text, and I font <laughs> red. Now, it's, now I've got red text, the marquee. Now we're talking, right? <laughs> it's going everywhere. And that's, that is kind of, is that sort of instant feeling of progress. Yeah. Right, it's like, loops. yeah. Yeah. And back then, Microsoft Word had amazing HTML rendering engine. Well, you say uh, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's. I used it a lot, but I also at some point alerted to HTML and looked into what Word was generating. Somehow, the magic that flipped me into this was like, I authored HTML file, right? Opened it in Microsoft Word and still acted like website. Yes. So you can click on the links. Yeah, that's and true. Go to the that's website. true. And it was a different rendering engine to what Word Explorer did. And I don't know, it might have even been different to the one front page used. Like, but, I, but they had a support for HTML. Yeah. Right? yeah. I mean, you could also write a Word document with your normal buttons, make it bold, make it a heading, yeah, and then yeah, save yeah, it yeah, as yeah. HTML, which is so, 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 OK, as a, I don't know, fourth, sixth grader with, with no friends. <laughs> <laughs> None of us had friends. Coming, friends, coming right. home, and then just turning on computer every day after school. Yeah. And just yep. you know, that box was my little world. It was amazing. So, <laughs> just, just because my dad was a teacher at like electrical, like vocational high school, like you know, he he was a t technology teacher. So I had access to internet like quite early on, mm -hmm. and uh, I so I had an internet friend. And it wasn't no like, like a, there was like a social media thing. It was somehow randomly, maybe from that, like a directory thing, I found this one person's website that has a BBS, the bulletin board. Yeah. And it turns out it was like, you know, we were both girls in Tokyo in same grade or whatever. And, you know, savvy enough to make web pages, right? <laughs> so I would turn on the computer uh, do some coding or drawing or whatever, but then I go to that 
BBS and then like kind of like write a letter like today da 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 oh, and then we have like a very slow are you still in contact? No, <laughs> no, no, I don't even remember I, what that site was. I actually have a person, when I was 12 and I was a member of a German Java programming bulletin board kind of thing. Yeah? I'm still oh, in you're contact so with, nerd. with that person. Really? Java you, programming. But, but, but you're not supposed to meet people from the internet. It's dangerous. What was the first messenger you used? Was it like a, a Japanese local version? Or was it like ICQ or AIM or...? I think must be AIM. I wasn't into those like a real chat communication thing when I was in Japan. It was always asynchronous written board, like, you know, posting I to see. thread okay. kind of thing, which is kind of like how our chat apps are getting to be now with yeah, like yeah. threads. Full circle. Back to threading. Full circle, right? Oh, uh, see, for me, it was uh, Microsoft Comic Chat. What? You, no, this is the thing. I, I'm assuming that's what it's called. But you went on and you picked a room, and uh, you picked a character, and you would type something, and it, it would sort of be building this this comic book. Like, so your character would there say something, and someone would reply, and their character would appear uh, as if it was a comic. Never seen or heard of that. And it, it like people were sort of replying, going, "You're being really annoying. Like, what what is all that garbage text mean? What's going on?" And it took someone else to figure out. I was like, "Oh, they're using Microsoft Comic Chat," and I'm like, "Yes. Like, what what are you using? Or oh, we are using IRC." And I figured out this, this Microsoft Comic Chat was just an IRC client, but it would put loads of garbage text at the start like of everything you wrote. Like encoded images or something along those lines. Well, well just like the signal to say, here's the character I am and here's the expression yeah. I'm pulling. And, and that was, yeah, so that was my, my way into IRC. And that was my, that was my first Now chat. that you mention it, didn't we have like a widget on the side of blog or site or something? That's like mini Twitter? I don't remember like, this. Well, oh, maybe. I do. I do, the like, bulletin board on the side, you could have a widget where you could basically type chat messages. Chat messages, but kind of like anonymous-ish, maybe. Like, oh. it may be in the cookie that, like, you know, your username that you set or something. It was certainly not like you create an account or anything, but, like, I would go into certain, like, website that I was, like, following, right? And then, like, look at the top page on the side corner, tiny box. I said, did somebody post it in there? <laughs> Also, um, well, it, it, t today is my birthday. Yes, and happy birthday. Thank you very much. And you, and you got me a, a present. Yes. Why are you giving it to her? It's your present. Well, I'm wanting, I'm wanting, explain, explain, what is this? <laughs> what, what, what do I? So, you were explaining maybe two IOs ago that you got sunburned so hard. Yes. Yes, and there are videos of that. I have it on tape. I don't know if I'm yeah. like supposed to tell you this, but you had to put makeup on, like yes. green makeup to counterbalance your redness. I went onto YouTube and I typed in "Help, I'm sunburned. What do I do?" And there was this this tiny woman who was like, "Hey, sometimes you get sunburned, and here's what you do." And I was like, "Tell me your secrets, little child. What is it?" <laughs> and I was like, I'm gonna put on the green makeup. What? <laughs> the green makeup? What planet are you from? And, and then I was like, oh, it's working, kind of. And yeah, and so I went out and bought some green makeup. And yeah, yeah YouTube's and then, great for this. Yeah, while we were you know, watching the keynote, you were like putting a layer of sunscreen and telling me that story. So I bought you some shield. A sun from shield. The sun. It's full face. Yeah, and, so, and so that it didn't oh. feel left out, I got one as well. The, the yes. tiny one. I feel I feel yours is a little bit more stylish. Mine, oh, I don't even know how well, I'm supposed to up, wear it. That's up for debate, I think. So this is this is like um, Handmaid's Tale style, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Is this how I'm supposed to wear it, or do I go? I go. Oh, so I'm supposed to go down. It's like, like that's like, like the it? welding mask. Welding mask. It, it's it's definitely something I'm going to use. I'm a little bit worried that. Um, I mean, it's going to be difficult at the airport. <laughs> well, it, it protects my face, but th there is these two bits. <laughs> <coughs> That these are, these are gonna fry, and kind of peel off like bad Doritos. I think it's it's just a look you should own, as you know. Well, thank you very much. This is like having team meeting in real life, which never happens because we That's own true. a different office. Yeah, and yeah. And at IO, would you be more comfortable if we did this via Hangouts? Because <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> yeah, I could go over there and get a laptop. I, 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 I will just open the laptop. You think yeah. the Wi-Fi will hold yeah. that?